Hey guys, what's up? It's Stealth here, and today we got a little farming episode, Um, but we're going to start off right away. We can either upgrade the Barb King to 18 or the Arch Queen to 18. We're going to upgrade the Arch Queen to 18. That's 90,000 Dark Elixir. She gets 6 more damage per second, 22 more hit points, 2 more time is added to her regen time, 2 more minutes. Okay, so in the first raid, right here we got this one. Um, Yeah. Just the typical barch. Um, so, it, you guys can just watch the gameplay. I want to put something in the bathroom. <sighs> Not in the bathroom. In the background. Sorry about that. Well, I talk about a commentary topic. So, the last week, during the last week of school, it was freaking freezing in Minnesota. Oh, there was a quick 500k, but whatever. Um, and we should not have had school. I live in Farmington, Minnesota. Yeah, if you guys want to stalk me, that's where I live. Um south of the twin cities <laughs> and uh so my school has ipads that's how that's what you're seeing this gameplay on right now but um so we got ipads for this very reason so when the weather conditions don't want to like don't want to be nice and we can't go to school or it's too it's not safe because it's too cold and it's dangerous you can stay home and you have this thing called the digital learning day and you basically just do your work from home well, yeah, that's what should have happened. Um, the wind chill was negative 40, and who knows what the normal temperature was. Probably like, I don't know, negative 20-something, whatever. Way too cold to have school, and it was bullshit. Um, and they ended up sending out an email saying that uh, uh, it was an excused absence. And my mom had the day off, and she wouldn't pick me up because of the email basically said that the parents are at their own liability which um i blame the school for that because they're retards sorry if you don't like that word i don't like it either but i was really pissed off i still am um here's the next replay and uh yeah it's just really frustrating that they would just do wait did i just show this one huh no did I? Whoops. Didn't mean to show that one. Um, hold on. Uh, okay, here's the next raid. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, the loot's been pretty good lately. Uh, I have nothing else to upgrade besides heroes and walls, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, back to the topic. So, even the teachers didn't know what to do. And, um, our Wi-Fi at school ended up going out for about an hour. And I couldn't do any work. And I told my mom to come pick me up, and she wouldn't. And, um, yeah, so that was pretty frustrating. Uh, I had to stay at school all day. And in my first hour, I had 10 out of 36 kids in it, if that says anything. Um, and, yeah, no one was really going to school at all. So it just made me really mad because I had to be there, and no one else did, really. Um, here's the next raid, or the last raid. Um, and yeah, just like, yeah, this raid had a lot of gold. And so no one was there and it was just a really boring day. And yeah, I just was not in a good mood when I got home. And then, uh, mom got all pissed at me cause I was like arguing with her about it, but whatever that's besides the subject. But what do you guys think? Do you think when you have iPads for that purpose and you don't use it, that it seems a little ridiculous when your school spends tens upon thousands of dollars getting every kid in our district iPads. Yeah, any kid uh third grade or older got an iPad. Well, actually, you either have an iPad or an iPad mini. Um I have an iPad mini cuz I was in 8th grade the year we got the iPads when our school started it, but uh and then the four if you're in ninth, tenth, eleventh, or twelfth grade, you got a full size iPad. But uh, and then those cycle down to the younger kids who then are in third and fourth grade the next year and who weren't the year before. But I don't know. It's um, iPad Minis have AirDrop, so that comes in handy with homework and shit like that. Yeah, I just said that. But whatever. Right here, uh, the balloons were being a bit of a pain in the ass. I ended up just ending it. I got the fifty percent. Didn't really matter. But I think that was about. If not 2 million loot, it was just about that. Uh, I think 
or we're doing on time. Okay, we're just at five minutes. I think there's a couple raids I can show you. Um, I don't remember if this is one of them. Yeah, it is. Okay, so right here, we'll put it in times four. It's whatever. Uh, he's placing his troops really low. But yeah, this is one of our Town Hall 7s in our clan. Uh, Chris, sorry, Chris Ross. I'm going to break that up into two words. Sounds a lot better. But yeah, so right here he had a three star and he got a good, what is that, three, 400k loot. Yeah, so that was a really nice raid. Good job, man. I know he's one of my subscribers. He's a really good member. Mr. Winner is not. He's a douchebag. Um, yeah, I hope you're watching. So fuck you. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. So here's another good raid. We'll put it in times four. Just in case, I don't know how many raids there are. I can show you. I know there's about three. Um, oh, this must have been the guy who gave me a Valkyrie. Because in one of my raids, I don't know if you were paying attention. I forgot to talk about it. But someone gave me a Valkyrie, and it was pretty cool to see it running out of my clan castle. Those things are freaking tanks, and they're just beasts. Yeah, I don't know why he placed his Barb King up there. I would have went for the um, Elixir Collector at the bottom corner. But it's whatever. Uh, let's see. Um, Will, how'd you do, buddy? Oh, yeah, this wall. This wall. So this base says walls are for pussies. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to screenshot that, go ahead. Probably one of the most interesting bases I've ever seen in Clash of Clans. But, um, yeah, that's besides the point. Uh, yeah, so this guy probably quit. And he's basically just saying, like, F you, Supercell. But it's whatever. These guys are the guys that give us free loot. And I'm not complaining. Uh, I actually laughed my butt off when I saw Will share this replay. Um, we're going on seven minutes here. I'm going to for sure keep it under 10 minutes. So, but I want to get all these in here because I told my, oh, that's a defensive. I told my clanmates I start sharing the raids gun because I didn't for a while. And, um, I think this is going to be the last raid by Jeremy. It took all two minutes. So I'm going to put it in times four, but as you guys can see, all the loot is in the very bottom. Um, yeah. But so back to the topic. So basically what was happening was all these kids were getting super pissed off at the school. And uh, when one kid found out that school wasn't canceled, he like threatened. Well, like he was like jokingly threatening. He took a picture of a gun and said like this is what's going to happen uh, to blah, blah, blah tomorrow. And he put the principal's name with like a winky face or something like that which was not something to joke about he ended up getting suspended which is really stupid but like people upperclassmen were parking in the um principal and uh the superintendent's parking spots and they're like parking diagonally so that they couldn't park there and they're just taking up the teacher's parking spots and yeah all these people were like taking pictures of how there was no one in the parking lot and how yeah 200 and some schools canceled school in Minnesota, and we did not. Every other school around us did, but we did not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and this um, Archer Up Queen, Archer Upgrade, Archer Queen Upgrade video. Yeah, this has been Stealth. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends about me. We are now at 63 subscribers, and we're going to keep going up. Hopefully I'll get the Elgato soon. Hook that up. And yeah, you'll have good quality, you won't see my hands anymore, and I won't have to worry about using a stupid screen recorder. This one's Stealth, and I'm out.